in our delight and welcome back to another Joyful Connections episode. And here we are again with our beautiful Leanne Thomas from angelichope.com. Welcome back, Leanne. Thank you. Good to be back. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's so fun. As we were talking in the previous um, segments, you had a little message for me and actually sparked the idea as to why not actually let people have the experience by being able to watch here and that if what it's like to actually have a reading. So we do a short, anything that they have to share. Right. Well, the first thing that I was getting, and maybe I should share a little bit, um, when I connect in with the angels, what they're always showing me is somebody's highest good and things that can come forward to them as they're currently projecting their energy forward. Um, And there are certain things that are coming forward for you that are going to expand what it is that you do. And the angels may want you to know this at this time because you've been preparing for it, they're saying to me, that you've been um, um, putting the energy forward, manifesting, if you will, um, to have more of this come to you. And it's like you've been on this journey that, that to come a long way and it's... And your heart is so beautiful, they're telling me. Um, and there's stuff going on in your home. So sometimes they'll give me a lot of things at once, but they also ha- you have Archangel Joe fail around you, and I feel her energy mm-hmm. tends to be a feminine. And there may be stuff going on in your home, whether you're purging some things, clearing some things, or your office. So she's come around for you in the state of... Um, organizing, decluttering, getting things situated, not only in your physical space, but mentally ready and preparing you for the next phase. She's also, um, and I just say she because I feel the feminine, it's kind of, I know it's not, she's not necessarily um, a she, but it's kind of rude to just call them, hey, you, it. (laughs) (laughs) But for you, it's, it's a matter of letting go of some of the old because new things are coming for you. And I do see somebody interviewing you from what they're showing me. And the, in, and the interviewer saying to you, you're really good and talented at this. You've been on this journey for a while and you're going to be telling her your next steps. And it looks like um, for you, next steps is um, like, it feels like a documentary or a TV show. Um, I'm probably not getting it all situated right, but there's larger cameraing. Cameraing is that even really a word? I think sometimes I just make it up. I know I'm an English teacher, a reading specialist, can't even get English correct. But um, what they're showing for me is that you have a larger camera. Thank you, um, and you are interviewing, but it's um, outside of a studio, outside of a home, if you will, and then somebody sees what you put together and um, will interview you on, it feels like it's kind of like a documentary, kind of like these, but in a much expanded way. And um, there'll be travel for this because they show me you going from where you're at into I don't England, so it feels like London to me that I'm looking at. So somebody there in Europe will be interviewing you for this kind of work that you do um, and that that's going to be expanding. There, there will be a television, a regular television show that you're going to be start to doing that isn't just internet television. And so it will be broadcast um, through cable or however that's going to work. Um, that gets you to that interview. And it's going to take a little bit of time, but you've been building this for a long time. So they're telling me to tell you to start saying yes to more things that are coming your way, little and big things, because you're going to be making some connections also to um, an individual. So you're going to meet someone, and then you're going to meet someone through them who's going to meet someone through them to help you get the funding or the camera or, you know, somebody that will partner with you in a sense to help set this up going forward. Now, have you already met somebody that has some ideas around this for you or um, something? Because they're making me feel like it's really close. It's really soon. I can. I have a couple of ideas. I mean, I'm in the process of with a couple of wonderful women. We're putting something together, where this might might happen, but I'm not quite 
Okay. No details so, yet. No. Right. So mm-hmm. that's that's where you're at. That's why I see it coming forward. So it's it's going to eventually snowball, if you will. Um, but they're also asking me, thank you, to um, to remind you that that you're the one with the heart that's open and not. And the other people are very beautiful too, so they're not saying that. But you're the one with the heart that's open, so you're going to have to learn to put boundaries around some of this because they might want this to change or evolve in a certain way that doesn't follow your heart. So they want you to keep following your heart and to trust you because they're all around you to make this happen. So you don't want it watered down or changed in some way that no longer is comfortable to you and your heart. Mm-hmm. Right. Okay. Thank you. So, yeah. And because you're really sweet. And so, <laughs> you know, you don't want to get stepped on and then taken advantage of in a sense. Not that I feel anybody around you is wanting to do that, but somebody's watching the bottom line, the dollar, the whatever, and they need to. And so sometimes that may get in your way. Mm-hmm. But all of that will fall into line, the money and other things to make it happen. Um, and it's going to be in, in more than one language. So I don't know if you already speak three languages, but I see three languages happening. So I don't know if there's translating or other things going on, but they're showing me three languages. So cool. it may be reaching, I don't know if it's subtitles or what, but it's reaching at least three countries easily. Or maybe there's three languages in one country. I'm not sure. but there And there will be travel around this for you. So that looks like a lot of fun. Do you have any questions about that? (laughs) Well, you know, it's so interesting saying about Jophiel helping me sort out. I'm right in the process of uh, letting go of where I am and, um, yeah, kind of looking, okay, I I want to sell everything that's in here, all the furniture, and it's kind of like really letting go until I have a suitcase, maybe a couple of boxes, and have a clean start, so to speak. Let mm-hmm. the old go. Yeah. 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 That's exactly the the direction that would be in your heart to help you come to this next stage that you're going into. Mm. So that's awesome. Yeah. That's beautiful. Good for you. <laughs> you keep listening that way and following that trust and just watch your life interact with the most amazing people. Because for you, the freedom is important that we were talking about earlier. Um, and for you, your needs have always been met. There's always been evidence of all of your needs being met. Not that everything was, has always been easy, but you just continue to follow that trust and that lead that your heart's giving you because your heart's way open and you're going to keep having your dreams come true. And your dreams may not look like everybody else's, but you already have learned that lesson. And so what we were talking about earlier, I think it's so amazing because you've, you've lived that. You're a living example of that. Many of us are catching up, but we need people like you, the angels are telling me, to help us see that it's possible. And that when you do let go of the fear, like your needs do keep getting met. And so they want to thank you for continuing to trust on the path because you're like easy to work with. <laughs> Joe Fiel shows up and you're like, oh. Joe Fiel, I have to let everything go. And she's like, oh, okay. Well, I can go help Leanne then. No. <laughs> no, no. They can help all of us at the same time. But really, you're so easy to work with, they're saying. Now, does that mean like you're perfect? Because like in your mind, you're already saying that. You're like, well, oh, she's, I'm not laying it on thick and they're not laying it on thick. That it's you do. You have had to make some what would appear to most of us be really difficult choices to leave things and let things go and move out of this comfort zone and do that and a lot of trust. And um, because you have what you really are wanting, that freedom, that peace, um, that connection to um, put the spiritual word out there is what you're getting. And it's almost like in another life, you were similar to like a Joan of Arc. So not saying you were Joan of Arc, but you were, and you did it the hard way. And so now you're not having to do it as such a hard way. You don't have to sacrifice your life to get people to wake up. You just have to get on the radio every day. (laughs) And now we have the phone ringing in the background. of conversation. (laughs) How cool is that? The angels bring rings and bells and sirens for us so that we know that um, what we're saying is truth. 
sometimes we get chills and other things too. So, yeah. oh, so sorry. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, and while we're on the topic then of connecting, um, I've been finding that while going through this whole transformational journey that I've really treasured the time that I've had by myself. I'm feeling now that it would be really nice to have a partner in my life. And um, yeah, did I have anything to say about that? Somebody that would um, is, that you're going to meet through traveling. Somebody that also wants to travel and be connected in. And I wouldn't be surprised if it's somebody that's good with a camera or videography or has to do in, in that regard. Um, somebody they're showing me that may have had a life having to do with like marketing or human resources in the past and is also dropping that, those kinds of things away. And so... Um, not right, right away for you because they're sharing with me you're not quite in that ready space. You're still letting some of this other other stuff go. But you're going to have that. <laughs> That's so cool. That um, They're showing me that um, wind beneath your wings person because you're going to be on the camera. You're going to be in the forefront and this person will be behind the camera taking care of things in that kind of way. Either literally behind the camera or somebody that's standing there making sure everything else gets taken care of. And you can trust him with money and finances. He also has, because of his business background that he's had in the past, is able to... Um, connect in with um, um, finance as well. He's got dark hair, lighter colored eyes, and he does speak more than one language they're showing me. Um, he's thinner build and not super tall. So if um, probably not taller than 5'10", might be 5'11 like at the most. So somewhere in that range, but under 6 foot. Um, I'm not getting an exact time because I feel like there's some things that you're going to go through first to bring them in. And are you traveling to Spain anytime soon? Because they keep showing me Spain for you now. And when we talked about the guy and the dark hair and they said Spain, um, and I'm not sure if there's a travel to Spain or he's from Spain. So I'd be looking out for Spain around this either way. So if opportunities come up for Spain, you're on that next plane. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I get clean shaven, that kind of um, thing around him. But um, yeah, I just not really into a lot of things, like lived that kind of life. I feel like his childhood, he probably had a lot of things and went into the traditional and then had um, a waking experience and is now doing other things with his life wanting to do passion, like his passion may be like photography, art, those kinds of things that would make him good with a camera or a good eye for that. Hmm. Just keep getting the camera around him. So I wouldn't be surprised if he didn't have something to do with photography of some kind as well. How fun. Well, I'll keep you posted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And don't worry about when it comes. Just know that it's coming. Yeah. Awesome. How fun. Yeah. You. You're so welcome. Well, I'm sure you know this is so great for people. If you're watching this and wondering, wow, I wonder what would come up for me, you've just had a sneak preview and a glimpse into what the angels have to say about me. So, this is going to be just so much fun to, yeah, watch how this unfolds. And yeah, check out angelichope.com, schedule a session with Leanne and see what comes up for you. And then it would be really fun too for people to share their experiences because I know you have testimonials on your page. Yes. And um, yeah, if anyone would like to share anything about their experience, they can also pop on Facebook. Are you on Facebook or Twitter? Yes, anyway? I am. Okay. Um, I have on Facebook, it's Leanne Thomas Medium. Okay, great. All right, we'll put it in the video uh, YouTube link. Uh, description so people can click on that. Fantastic. So, wow, thank you, Leanne. Oh, thank, thank you. you. Oh, my gosh. Thank and thank you just for your whole life and your life path. Oh. Coming here to serve, it's such a beautiful thing. And you know what? So much joy for you along the way. So, get ready, buckle your seatbelt. You're taking off. <laughs> thank you. And thank you to the angels. And thank you, Leanne. Until the next time, many joyful blessings. Bye. Thank you. Thank you.